Okay, all right. Okay, so um, for those who have watched my previous um, several videos, so you might notice uh, we have actually finished uh, the first chapter of uh, the elementary syllabus for O level maths in Singapore. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to talk about uh, the chapter two. So let me choose. Okay, okay. I I can't seem to write here. Let me see what happened. Let me reopen the program. Okay, all right. Okay, so yeah, so today I'm going to talk about uh, chapter two. Okay, I'm going to talk about chapter two. So, um, this chapter talks about um, the concept of quadratic. Equation. Okay, and let me give you um, an example of a quadratic equation. So the quadratic equation should should look like um, should be in this format. By the way, okay. So by the way, is a is an equation, right? So um, what what do you think this is? Okay. So some students um they are confused. Um, they are confused about what is an equation and what is an expression. So now let me clear your doubts here. So by the way, this is an expression. This is the expression. And this is an equation. Okay. I hope you see the difference between these two. So the one key thing, the one key difference between these two is for this one, there is a equal sign here. Okay. So therefore, this is an equation. Okay. And for the for the for the expression here, okay, you can see that there is no equal sign here. Okay. So therefore, if you see a equal sign, which is here. If you see this equal sign, so it's called an equation. Okay. If there is no equal sign, so there is no equal sign here. So this is an expression. Okay. So please differentiate these two. Okay. So today I'm going to talk about quadratic equations. So I will focus. I will focus our our attention on uh, this. Okay. So uh, a quadratic equation uh, should be in this format okay so some examples of quadratic equations are you can have this so let's say you have y equals to 9x squared plus uh, 2x plus 3 okay or you can also have y equals to x squared plus 3 okay so as long as as long as the highest power as long as the highest power of this of of this equation okay or this equation as long as the highest power in the equation is is two here okay they are called a quadratic equation okay so as long as the highest power As long as the highest power in the equation is two, so it's called a quadratic equation. Okay, and let's look at how to solve quadratic equations. Okay, let me move to the next, or let me um try to insert a new page. Okay, so how do we solve quadratic equation? So Let's talk about solving uh, quadratic equation. Okay, I'm going to use short formula QE. So let's start with uh, let's start with uh, one equation first.
Okay, so the one I have here is 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. Okay, so the first method, so the first method to solve project equation is factorization. Factorization method. Okay, I'm going to teach factorization method today. Okay, so let's look at how we can make use of this factorization method to solve the quadratic equations above here. Okay, so first thing first, I hope you can observe. Okay, I hope you can observe that you have three terms here. Okay, this is your term one. Okay, and this is your term two. And then this is your term three. Okay. And of course, this is a quadratic equation, right? Because I hope you can see that the highest power in this equation is two, which is here. Okay, I hope you can see this. Okay, so once you have a quadratic equation, then you can actually use a factorization method to solve these quadratic equations. Okay, okay. Now, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to use the factorization method to solve these quadratic equations. Okay, and like I say, you have your this term one and term two, term three. Okay, and your job is to figure out how to get your term one, term two, and term three. Okay, so I'm going to use the factorization method here. Okay, so the thing I ask myself is, okay, how can I get my first term? Okay, how can I get my first term 3x squared? Okay, then you can actually think of a multiplication of x and 3x, right? So these two the times together, right, it should give you 3x squared. I hope you can see. Or, if you don't choose if you don't choose um if you don't choose x and 3x you can also choose 3x and x okay so there are there are more than one combination that can give you 3x squared okay okay all right so let's start with 3x and x first okay so when you have a multiplication of 3x and x here so when you times the two together then you will get your 3x squared okay next the term you should look at is your this term 3 how do you get your minus 2 okay so this is your term 1 and then this is your term 3 but how do you get your minus 2 you have more than one combination Okay, you have more than one combination. You can either have like minus two and one, right? Or or plus two and minus one. These three, I mean these two the times together, they can give you minus two. So which one to choose or which combination to choose? Okay. So that is the key for the factorization method. Okay. So now let's choose plus two and minus one for for this time round first okay and now what you need to do is you need to you need to do a cross multiply here okay so if you do a cross multiply so you have 3x times your minus one you will get minus 3x am I right and your x times your plus 2 here you will get your 2x and then i hope you can see this 2x and minus 3x here if you add them together you will get a minus x okay and you just compare this term minus x to your plus 5x here so it does they don't match right so you have a minus x here 
and you have a plus 5x here. So they don't match. Okay. So when they don't match, what it means is what it means is your this your this your selection of this or your selection of this is not correct. Okay. So you need to change. Okay. You need to change either your this 3x and x combination or you need to change your plus 2 and minus 1 combination here so that you will get your you will get your minus oh, so that you will get your 5x here because ultimately you want your form 2 to be 5x okay so with this as our requirement so let's change let's change this combination and see if we can get our plus 5x okay so another another combination for this is we can choose minus 1 and plus 2 right to get a minus 2 okay remember here to here it's time okay so minus 1 times plus 2 you will get minus 2 so yeah so over here minus minus 1 times plus 2 you will get minus 2 okay and you will get your minus 2 here and now we let's do a cross multiplication so 3x times plus 2 you will get plus 6 x right and x times your minus 1 you will get your minus 1 x here right and now so remember for this for, for here it's plus to get your to get your this okay. so i hope you can see minus 1x plus 6x you get your plus 5x so this factorization method allows you to get your first term third term and second term okay so therefore you have already factorized your this project equation so the answer will be given by this okay so if i were to re rewrite rewrite this so i will get so this is my left hand side equals to so by the way um this is the equal sign this is the equal sign right so this is my right hand side this is my left hand side so i'm using factorization okay which is this method to factorize my right left hand side so my left hand side is equal to here so my left hand side is equal to 3x minus 1 and my bracket x plus 2 this is my left hand side okay so this so your right hand side is equal to zero right okay for the project equation so what you need to do is your 3x minus 1 okay, times x plus 2 with the brackets by the way go to zero so what you do now is just equate this term zero and then this term zero because in order to get so a multiplication of two terms which gives you zero so a can be zero or b can be zero okay so with this understanding right so that's why you get your 3x minus 1 to the zero then your x plus 2 and therefore you can actually solve for your x so here your x is one third and for here your x equals to negative okay so sorry so let me uh carry up with okay so this is the way to solve this project equations using factorization method okay so let me let me go ahead let me go ahead and uh and uh do one more do one more question to familiarize yourself with this uh, factorization method 
Okay, let me insert another page. Okay, so the question here is x squared minus 4x plus 3 goes to 0. Okay, so first thing first, so this is a, and this is a quadratic equation. Okay. Uh, the highest power of this equation is 2. Okay, so therefore we can actually use factorization method. Okay. Factorization. Okay, and I hope you remember, but if you don't, it's okay. So what we need to do is we need to figure out our x squared term or which combination can give us our x squared term here and take note over here so over here is your plus 3 okay and then over here is your minus 4x okay so this is your term 1 this is your term 1 and then this is your term 2 let me use a different color and then this is your term 3 and your job is to figure out how do you get your term 1, term 2, and term 3? And the way you arrange them here is here is your term 1, here's your term 3, okay, here's your term 2. Okay, so what combination can give you x squared? So there is only one combination, which is x and x. Okay, right? So these two, they times together, they will give you x squared. Okay, and for this, okay. You can have 3 and 1 or also minus 3 minus 1. Okay? So when you times you times 3 and 1 together, you get plus 3. Or if you times minus 3 and minus 1 together, you will also get plus 3. Okay? So which combination you choose, it really depends on your cross multiplication later. So let's start off with this first combination here. So let me just ignore this okay, at first. So let's start off with this combination. Okay, so x times 1, this will give you x here, right? Okay, x times 3 here, you give it 3x. Okay, so 3x, okay, for this, please remember, is plus. Okay. Over here, over here is times. Okay, over here, over here is plus. Okay, so you can see that three x plus x will give you plus four x, right? So that means your plus four x is not not minus four x, which is what you want. Therefore, this combination. 3 and 1 to give you plus 3 is not what you want okay so it's not what you want so what you need to do is change to another combination so another combination is minus 3 and minus 1 right so when you change it so you also need to erase this so now let's take a look once again x times minus 1 you will get minus x x times minus 3 you get minus 3x so when you add these two together so you get minus 4x okay so so over here is valid okay so when it's valid so that your factorization is successful okay so these these two are the factors of the left hand side okay so therefore your left hand side of the equation is equal to x minus 3 and x minus 1 okay i hope you can see so without all this without all this so can you see it's x minus 3 x minus 1 okay so therefore your x minus 3 times x minus 1 go to 0 so therefore you just need to equate your both terms to 0 so what you get x minus 3 equal to 0 x minus 1 is equal to 0 
So for, for, for this, x is equal to 3, and for this, x is equal to 1. Okay? So, yeah, so this is a, a second example, okay, to demonstrate how we can use a factorization method, how we can use factorization method to, to, to solve, how okay, we can use factorization method to solve our quadratic equations. Both. Okay, so I hope with these two examples, uh, you have a good understanding of uh, how we can use the factorization method, which is just one of the methods to solve quadratic equations. Okay, so uh, let me conclude uh, today here. So I hope you enjoy my videos so far and hope to see you again. Bye.